I'm Invalid Ghost, and today we're gonna play some more Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. On the last episode, we got a bunch of children, and I was extremely sleep deprived. So sleep deprived, didn't even notice that Jacob and Setsuna weren't married. <laughs> Thought they were, tried to switch their classes, uh, tried to switch Setsuna's class to a butler, to a maid. <laughs> And it didn't work because they weren't married and I didn't notice that and I was just, I was really sleep deprived in the last episode. That whole week, all the recordings from that week were pretty bad, <laughs> in my opinion, because of how tired I was. But hey, I'm good now. I got a decent amount of sleep. Not really, actually. I'm very tired still. But let's go. Let's get into this. It's almost Christmas. Christmas is around the corner. Wait a minute. What day is this coming out? Tomorrow is Christmas for you guys. Wow. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year. That's coming around. That's pretty soon. Uh, can you believe that we're almost at 2022? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm in shock that we're even in 2021. It still feels like 2020. It feels like 2020 has just, like, continued for like two years you know it feels like this is still 2020 i don't know i don't know how else to explain that it just feels like the years have not changed if that makes any sense it feels like this is the same year and it's just going again it, it, the same year's happening again for like the second time does that make sense no maybe i don't know anyway Needless to say, the past couple of years have sucked for the majority of the world, you know. There's probably a few exceptions. I'm sure some of you have had some good things happen to you despite, you know, every everything that's been happening in the world. Uh, but we can kind of all agree that these last few years haven't been the best compared to other years, <laughs> right? Hopefully 2022 is better. Hopefully it's a turning point. Hopefully it'll be, like, the end of all of this horribleness. But I'm, I'm gonna- actually, I'm gonna be honest. My own personal thoughts. Uh, America, specifically, I believe is gonna go downhill from here. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like 2022 is the tipping point. Imagine a dam. <laughs> and... It's holding in too much- it's holding back too much water. There's just been a lot of rain pouring into the dam, and it was too much rain. So much rain that the, the lake on the other side of the dam is, like, about to overflow, and the dam can't hold in all the water anymore. It's about to crack and pour, and it already has a few cracks in it, you know? It's already starting to pour a little bit, but it's about to get so much worse. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> I feel like... The dam is gonna break in 2022, and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> but, on the bright side, once the dam breaks, everything should go back to normal. Right? Right? Because once the dam breaks, and the water breaks free, and everything, all the destruction happens, eventually we'll be at a point where we can rebuild. Right? That's... That's how this metaphor works. It's very hard to stay positive in this year, in this day and age. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting old and cynical. Is that what happens when you become old? You just become uh, pessimistic and sad? <laughs> hey, Azama. What do you want? I'm gonna stop talking about life now and talk to you instead. Good thing I only talk in metaphors, so nobody really knows what I'm saying. I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, that was the wrong button. No, wait a minute. Actually... What supports do we have? That's a good question. We have a lot of supports. Is anyone getting married? No, this all seems to be random garbage that I don't care about. Yeah, this is all random garbage that I don't care about. Okay! Cool! Azama talked to me. It appears Fortune has smiled upon you, and I got two rice. Wow. That's amazing, Azama. I wish I could be as happy as Azama when he gets two rice. Two pieces of rice. I wish I could be that happy. I wish I had two pieces of rice. <laughs> ah, I got an iron club. Also, yeah, Shuri, she she is with us today. I think I got him off camera, right? 
So you guys can see me get him. Well, he I got him. I got him. I got Kiragi. <laughs> I got anyone else we might have been missing that isn't a new kid. And new, basically meaning that wasn't in my conquest playthrough. So, you know. Hoshiden kids, pretty much. There's nothing like fruit straight off the tree. Great. I still need to get Silas's kid. I didn't get it. I didn't get his kid in Conquest. I didn't have the time. Sad. Oh, what's this? I have to find so much. It's a fish. Why have you never seen a fish before? I'll do my oh, best. I feel good today. That's great. Kana, how are you doing, my beautiful darling daughter? Papa! Papa! I'm so amazing today! I can do almost anything. That's great. I still don't feel like the arena. I mean, I should use the arena, I really should, but I just don't feel like it. I just don't. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I'm so happy to see you again. Oh, I'm so happy to see you too, Buttercup. I guess we'll bond. Oh, we're almost at level three bondage. That didn't, that didn't come out right. <laughs> Your bond has deepened. Wow. When we're together, I forget about the hard times we've had. Have we had hard times? I mean, I guess Kaze died. <laughs> invite an ally. Uh, yeah, I want to invite Setsuna. Yeah, why not? We invite Jacob way too much. Let's invite someone new. Hey, Setsuna, how you doing? You seem to be having fun. I am. I guess the three of us will all hang out together. Okay. Okay. You're so nice. I guess that's what Lady Hinoka sees in you. That's very fitting, considering I married her. Just a very fitting thing to say. Okay. Could we do this just a little bit longer, Itsuki? No, I'm leaving forever. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, should I go use the hot spring? I haven't used that in this playthrough yet. Time for a relaxing bath. Yes. Oh, is that... Saizo? It's Saizo, isn't it? And, oh, there's another guy. Who the frick is that? Oh, he's a me. He's a, he's a, he's a me. He, he's a me. He's a me. He's a me. <laughs> H-Man. I didn't give them proper voices in the last episode because I was too tired. <laughs> so I guess I should give them proper voices now. I apologize for entering out of turn. If you like, I will wash your back later. That's really disturbing. Please never say that again. <laughs> this is just the thing for sore muscles. <sighs> this is very soothing. It's a nice spot for contemplation. Can Saizo talk, please? <laughs> This is rather nice. Still, a ninja must be vigilant, even in the hot springs. Okay. It's nice to see you without your mask. Goodbye. I think I've been in here long enough. These people are starting to creep me out. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I think the hot spring should give you something, man. The hot spring should give you either friendship with people, or it should give you a boost to your stats. Maybe just the main characters and whoever's with them. Right? Just their stats. A little boost. Maybe a boost in luck or something. Something... Some stat that doesn't matter too much, like skill or luck. I mean, skill, you know, is a great stat, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it only gives you, like, a little boost in your ability to crit or something. It doesn't make you stronger. It doesn't make you faster. You know, it's more like a, a luck-based kind of thing. Right? <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna get more children today. Just one child. We, we need to get Keldori, and maybe we'll do chapter 19 after that, I don't know. So let's go. Truly talented. Paralogue 13. While Tsubaki is visiting his daughter Keldori, he hears that there are enemies running amok, and he hurries to confront them. Keldori makes a small resolution. I finally get to talk about why I hate the Hoshiden children so much. There's an ice cream! <laughs> Frick, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm playing Pokemon Go while also playing this game because... 
why not? There's Christmas Pokemon out and about. There's Ice Pokemon, man. You know, I don't have that many Ice types. Anyway, a Vanillite just appeared. And I don't think I have one of those. It's an Ice Cream Pokemon. It's very cute. And I absolutely hated it when I was 12 years old and first saw it. Because I was like, why the frick did they make an Ice Cream Pokemon? They're running out of ideas. But, you know, I was 12. And pretty angry. <laughs> pretty angry with everything. <laughs> But you know what? I like the ice cream Pokemon. I just hate its evolutions. Mainly because it's kind of like a Magnemite, or a Diglett, or a D D Duo, or a Cling Clang, Cling Cling Clang. You know, it it's one of those Pokemon that when it evolves, it just gets an extra head. They could have done so much more with an ice cream Pokemon than give them an extra head. I mean, they could have made it a Sunday. Why the frick? <laughs> Add a banana! Why two ice cream scoops, you know? Like, what? The frick's the point! <laughs> as far as two-headed Pokemon go, or multi-headed Pokemon go, this one's pretty cute. I wouldn't use it, though. I think it's too fragile. I'm not a big fan of ice types and competitive play, but it's a cute one. Alright, yes, I want to go. Enough talking about freaking ice cream Pokemon. <laughs> Truly talented. Finally! I get to rant! I've waited for this. I love to rant about Fire Emblem. <laughs> I like to rant about all my little problems I have with the, these games. Problems isn't the word I was searching for. I was searching for something else. You know, what is it called? That's gonna bother the heck out of me. <laughs> Like a peeve. Pet peeves? Is that what it's called? No, that's not the word I'm looking for. There are freaking. What is that? There's a. Spiel at the water tower. Oh my god, there's a playground in my neighborhood? Wouldn't that happen? That's far away! What the frick? That's like two hours away. Why is it in my nearby? <laughs> nearby is a spiel <laughs> at the park. That's two hours away from where you live. <laughs> Just walk two hours that way. <laughs> I mean, sure, this is Texas and that's nothing, but uh, come on! <laughs> okay, maybe it's- maybe I'm exaggerating a little. No, I'm not really. It would be like, maybe an hour and a half walking if you speed walk. It's been so long! Ooh, it's been so long! Ooh, ooh, since I was last in the deep realm. <laughs> Since you've been away, something... I don't know the song. It's been so long since I was last in this deep realm. How peaceful it is. Now then, where is my daughter? Father. There we go! I get to scream- I get to start yelling. Okay. Kaldori. So, if you know anything about Fire Emblem Awakening, if you've seen the Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough, if you played the game, you will know that there's something familiar about Kaldori here, and it's not just her appearance, it's also her name. <laughs> so in Birthright, Fire Emblem Birthright, there are a couple of kids that I have problems with, and uh, one of them would happen to be Kaldori here. There are a lot of children who basically are clones of Fire Emblem Awakening characters. Now, to be fair, they do have differences, I suppose, in their appearance and in their personality, you know, slight little differences here and there, but they are basically just the same character, repainted and renamed and reproduced. <laughs> so Keldori here is obviously... What the frick is her name? <laughs> what? You know, the Pegasus girl with the red hair. All I can think of is Celica, and that's not the, <laughs> that is not the right name. Because that is the main character in Fire Emblem Echoes. Look, Kaldori, if you scramble that, you'll get the real name. So, you, you know, it's a... It's, it, what is that called? An anagram? That's probably not it. But if you scramble her name, you'll also get who she is based on. Calder Calderia! Calderia? Is it Calderia? I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> look, in my defense, I don't use the 
Pegasus Knights in Awakening at all. And I only ever use Caldera, if that's her name, <laughs> to get Sevra, who I like way more than Caldera. I feel so bad. Cordelia! That's what her freaking name is. I just hurt my hand. Oh, Cordelia. Sorry, she's so forgettable. <laughs> Cordelia is the person that she's based on from Fire Emblem Awakening. She basically looks very similar to her. Her name is just an anagram of Cordelia. Caldori is Cordelia just scrambled. Uh, I need to now look up the word anagram and see if I'm even using that correctly. <laughs> I have zero confidence in my vocabulary, and zero confidence in myself in general, so... I never know if I'm right. Look at that, I was correct, it is anagram. See, sometimes I'm smarter than I give myself credit for. Now, to be fair, Sabaki's also kind of a clone of Cordelia. So, I mean, in that case, Keldori kind of works here. Hey, there's a Stantler! He's got little bells around his neck, that's adorable. That, that was in Pokemon Go. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember anything about Keldori, and I don't really care about her at all. I think she's a- I think she comes in as, as a Pegasus Knight, just like her father is. And she's probably just as perfect as he is, or whatever, or sh she cares about being perfect, or some garbage. Who- who really cares about Keldori? That is the problem with these children. Nobody cares about them, because they- we've already seen them before. If you haven't played Awakening, perhaps you'll like them. But if you played Awakening, all you're gonna do is get upset. <laughs> Unless you like to see the same character over and over and over again. Now, to be fair, there are character archetypes which are repeated several times in Fire Emblem Awakening, but at least they look different and, uh, and play differently. For example, like Sane from Fire Emblem, uh, Blazing Blade, I think and Sylvain from Three Houses, possibly Lorenz as well from Three Houses, uh, Gatry from Path of Radiance, I think, Inigo slash Laszlo from Awakening and Fates. They're all basically the same archetype. Um, all of those characters that I've just mentioned are guys who are huge flirts. Despite all of these characters being having the same trait uh, of being a flirt, they all are very- are vastly different. For example, Sane is a cavalier, and he's a knight, and he- and his, uh, his vocabulary is very, um, fancy. You know, he uses a lot of similes and metaphors and stuff. <gasps> There's a giant spiel wearing a freaking scarf there's a spiel wearing a scarf this is not a drill there's a spiel wearing a scarf oh no you get in this ball i'm gonna use an ultra ball on you because you are just too freaking adorable what was i saying um yeah spe spiel <laughs> sane is a cavalier uh sylvain who sounds like sane <laughs> He can be pretty much anything you want. I mean, so can Lorenz. Uh, Sylvain starts out as a cavalier, though. So, pretty much is saying, oh my god. <laughs> he does start as a cavalier, right? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe he just starts as a, as a lance user. No, I turn him into a cavalier. Okay, so he probably just starts out as a lance user, right? He's just a la little lance guy on the ground, using his lance, or is that Lorenz? Am I getting them confused with each other? <laughs> Okay, you know what? I can't remember what Sylvain and Lorenz start out as because I've turned them into so many different things, you know? <laughs> Pretty sure they'll use lances. Then we got uh, Laszlo slash Inigo. He's a mercenary. We got, uh... Oh, there's also Jesse from Echoes who I just met uh, in part 7, which is going up today. But Jesse is a huge flirt as well. He's also a mercenary. Uh... There's other people, and they do things. <laughs> there's other people. Gatry! Uh, does Gatry use axes? Is he an axe user or is he a lance user? I can't re I can't remember anything about Gatry. <laughs> you know, I can't remember his weapon. For some reason. It's not- I'm drawing a blank. I know Shinon uses arrows. I know he's an archer. Uh, I can't remember what the frick Gatry does. I think he uses axes, though. Anyway, the point is, they're all very different. Kaldori here is a direct copy of Cordelia. 
just different name, slightly, very slightly different personality, but she's still, I'm pretty sure she's still gonna have the quirk of I'm perfect, or I like Crom. <laughs> Those are Cordelia's two personality traits. I'm perfect and I like Crom. <laughs> okay, but of course she's not gonna like Crom. So I'm not really sure if she has that personality trait, like maybe she likes somebody. <laughs> like Corin, you know, Itsuki. I'm not sure about that, though. Because I don't remember anything about Kaldori because I don't use Kaldori. I didn't use Kaldori at all. I used the other kids that I didn't really like as much. There's, uh... God, I can't say who the other people are because we haven't met them yet and I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who've never played this game before. But there are some other child characters who are basically clones of Awakening characters. Uh, two more, if I'm correct. I believe there's three in total. And Kaldori is probably the least interesting one. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they were thinking when they made a clone of Kaldori. Do people, uh, I mean Cordelia, do people really like Cordelia that much? Because the other two were fairly popular back in the day, but Cordelia? Really? <laughs> I mean, if we're thinking about S Pegasus Knights and Awakening, I would think that Sumia would be more popular. I mean, I don't like Sumia, but I, I don't... I mean, personally, I even prefer Cal uh, Cordelia over Sumia. But I mean, as far as popularity goes, I would assume it'd be, it would be—it would go to Sumia. The reason why I think these children are basically just clones from Awakening is pretty much just due to popular demand. Like, instead of making a sequel to Awakening, which they could have done, but they didn't, they decided to make a new game and insert awakening characters all over it for some reason and even make the story somewhat similar to awakenings in certain places but uh anyway <laughs> i lost my train of thought <laughs> i lost my train of thought you know what that's okay the point is uh Kildori's a sellout and i don't like her for that reason alone <laughs> Same with the other kids who are also like her. There are no children like these characters in uh, in Conquest. The Conquest kids are a lot more unique, and I prefer them. I do prefer the Conquest kids to the Birthright kids. I used them more in Revelations. I liked them more, mainly because they weren't clones of characters I already knew. Uh, honestly, if I wanted Cordelia in my game, I would have preferred they put the real Cordelia in, and not a clone of her? Does that make sense? Now, to be fair, in Conquest, they didn't put in child clones of Awakening characters into the game, but they did put actual Awakening characters into the game. So, in Conquest, you have, uh, Sevra, Laszlo... And Odin, who are all Awakening characters. Odin is Owain, Laszlo is Inigo, and Sevra is Serena. Yeah, I didn't like that either. <laughs> I wish if they had put those three in, like they had been given a, a reason why they're there. <laughs> you know, like a story role or something. But no, they were just kind of tossed into the game. And the only reason why- and the only way you even find out that who they are or why they're here is if you have them interacting with each other in their supports or- or interacting with yourself, the Corrin, in the- in your supports. I don't think they mention much about how they're from Awakening- uh, how they're from, uh, Yalis, or that they came here for some freaking reason. <laughs> Unless you have them support with each other or with Corrin. I don't think they mention in their supports with other people that they, uh, who they really are. Maybe they do at the end if they S support. Or maybe they'll mention, hey, I'm not actually from Nor, I'm from a faraway land, but they won't specify what faraway land. Uh, but nothing further than that. In fact, they don't even really talk too much about why they're here or what they're doing here or anything <laughs> ever pretty much I, I think they just are like well we came here and we're not stuck here but we kind of grew attached to these people for some reason and so we're staying 
I don't understand it, really. I, I'll be honest, I don't understand it. it they, they just confuse me. Their presence confuses me. I like them. Don't get me wrong. I love... I will always love Inigo, Owain, and Serena. And I'm glad they have more... They had more screen time in another game. Another Fire Emblem game. But I would prefer it... If it was just Awakening Part 2. You know, rather than... Let's put them in a random game that has nothing to do with Yulis or anything. <laughs> anything that was an Awakening, or Awakening as a whole, you know? And I don't know, I don't understand why they didn't just do that. Like, instead of going with Fates, why didn't they just make Awakening Part 2? They've done it before, they got Shadow Dragon and, and uh, Gaiden, right? Marth's game and Selica and Alm's game, they both take place in the same world, just a different, just like a few years later, right? Shadow Dragon came first, then Gaiden, and I think Gaiden's actually a spinoff of uh, Shadow Dragon, so I'm, I'm not sure if it takes place in the exact same universe. It's more like a parallel universe, I think. Not 100% sure on that, could be the same universe. Uh, but anyway, that was a continuation, you know? Marth wasn't in it, sure, but some other some characters that you knew from Shadow Dragon were in Gaiden, and it, they were explained why they were there. It's because it's the same freaking world. It's just a different area, a different continent that's in the same world. <laughs> they did it in a, a Blazing Blade and Binding Blade. In Binding Blade, they, they actually did this backwards. Binding Blade came first, then Blazing Blade came second, but Blazing Blade was a prequel to Binding Blade. And it was the better game, because it came out later. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Binding Blade is Roy's game. Blazing Blade is his father's, uh, Ellie Woods game. Well, actually, I wouldn't really call it Ellie Woods game. It's actually Ellie Wood, Lynn, and Hector's game. There's three main protagonists in that game, and that's why- That's one of the reasons why it's so much better. Because <laughs> there's three main characters, and they're all great, and I love them, and I love their little story. It's so- it's pretty wonderful. I would love to play that on this channel someday, actually, because I really want to play that game again, because it was great. I've only finished it once, and it was a great time. One of my favorite Fire Emblem games. In fact, if Awakening wasn't my favorite, I would say Blazing Blade's my favorite. The only reason why I like Awakening more is probably because I'm a big fan of comedy, and Awakening is full of comedy. And, uh, number two, it was my first Fire Emblem game, so, you know, there's nostalgia involved. And number three, uh... It's more modern, so, you know, the controls are a bit easier. Uh, I had to play Blazing Blade on my computer, you know, emulate it, so it just wasn't the best experience. But I love Blazing Blade. I really do. Like, I would put it pretty high up on the list of, like, my top favorite games of all time, even. You know, not just Fire Emblem games. I can't remember where I was going on my train of thought again. <laughs> oh, yeah! This game could have been like that, you know? It could have been a... It could have been about the Awakening Kids. It could have been about all of the Awakening Kids, you know? And I guess they could have thrown in some adults, too. Because why not? It could have been, like, taking place in their timeline where everyone's dead or dying or whatever. It could have been, like, taking place in there in the, an alternate universe, or an alternate reality, where, oh no, Lucina needs to go back to the past to save us all, or we're all gonna die, and how are we gonna get her to go to the past when we have to fight the Grima, or whatever, I don't know. It doesn't have to be about that, but, you know, it could have been a part two, maybe... The kids are grown up, and now they have to fight alongside their younger selves that were all born at some point, and some of the adults are older now, and, you know, maybe it could have been a sequel rather than a prequel, you know? Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, I just don't like that we have so many Awakening characters in this goddamn game. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't like... That Laszlo and Odin and Sevra are here without them being important to the story in the slightest in any of the routes. I don't like that uh, Kaldori and the other two children who are basically Fire Emblem Awakening character clones are here. And they don't make any god dang sense. What are they, reincarnations? I don't freaking know and I don't freaking care. Because I just don't want them to exist. I'm sorry, Kaldori. But I wish you weren't born. And why in the freaking world 
is she Subaki's kid when Cordelia is Severa's mother? <laughs> she should be Serena's kid, Severa's kid, whatever her name is. I, d I can't remember. <laughs> but I know why they gave it to Subaki. It's because in this game, only the boys can have children unless you are Corin or Azura. Anyway, father, here I am. Welcome back. Let's go. I've I've ranted enough. I it's already been freaking 40 minutes. Good lord. <laughs> How much of that did I have to cut out? Geldori, my dear, you've grown even more beautiful while I've been away. Goodness. Goodness, please, father, you're embarrassing me. Do I dote too much? Maybe so. You've been well, I hope. Yes. Yes, of course. I've kept up with every aspect of my training and studies. And in my spare time, I've memorized several books about war strategy. Wow. Wow. Impressive. Trying to be perfect, just like your father. <sighs> I'm aiming for capable. I've never seen real combat yet. Take your time. Take your time, daughter. Don't rush yourself. The reason my friends and I are constantly at war is to end war. Reporting. Reporting, sir. Urgent news from the other side. Enemies are attacking a site as we speak. You're needed at once. All right. All right. I'll go at once. I'm here too. I'm here too. I can fight, father. Huh? You want to join me? Well, why not? Well, why not? I would learn so much more in actual combat. Besides, don't you need all the help you can get? Nah. Nah. We've got it under control, Kaldori. You're brave to volunteer. I couldn't bear the thought of putting you in harm's way. <laughs> but father... Keldori, Kaldori, whatever your name is, don't you worry your pretty little red head. My friends are excellent at what they do. And I must say that I approach perfection on the battlefield. Wait here, I'll return as soon as the battle's over. I... um... But... <laughs> no buts, Kaldori. I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, father. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, who am I freaking taking? I guess I gotta take Subaki. Okay. Whoopie doopy. I don't need to take you two anymore. Uh, I can't remember Azama's kid either. Drawing a complete blank on that. I'll know him when I see him, I suppose. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Hinoka, do you need to come? I guess you can come. Si oh, I was getting Saizo and, uh, what's their face teamed up. And I was saying I was getting Saizo and, uh, Kagero, Kagero, uh, teamed up. Why not? Let's get them married. Uh, that's my go-to, anyway. <laughs> my go-to, uh, airing right there, because they, they were already together anyway. Just put them back together, why not? Now, who else should I pick? Get rid of all these kids. Who needs to get married? Silas needs to get married. Who is Silas closest to? Female-wise. Female and single-wise. Hannah. God dang it. I was pairing up Hannah with Azama, though. Uh, there is Rinka. Am I getting Rinka married to anyone? I might be doing Rinka and... Hayata? What about Orochi? Do I have s do I have Orochi paired up with anyone? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, I can select one more. Okay. But that wouldn't make things even for me. Oh, I can get rid of Itsuki. The other Itsuki. <laughs> I can get rid of double it Itsuki. And then I can take Hayato and whoever I was gonna pair him up with. Have I paired up a Boro with anyone? Should I pair a Boro with someone? <laughs> Who can I pair with... What's his name? Hayato. I don't even like pairing up anyone with Hayato because he looks like a seven-year-old. <laughs> but I want a stupid child so I can complain about it. <laughs> okay, Hayato and Rinka. That's a weird pairing, but I'm gonna pair them up. Where the heck is Rinka? There she is. Alright, now we view the map. Pair up everyone who I want to pair up so I don't forget who's pairing up with who. I didn't take Sakura, so, so, so Zabaki's on his own. Let's go. Ugh. How is this possible? They swarm the area. There's no. In is there no Indian? Seems the odds are against us. Okay.
Hey! Let me help. Let me help, Father. Huh? Keldora, you shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disobey you, but I had to jump at the opportunity to disobey you. Oh. Daughter! I want to help. help. I really, really do. I'm tired of sitting at home and waiting to be of some use. I'll never be as perfect as you are, Father, but I'd like to start trying to be. I have rigorously trained myself in martial arts, among other disciplines. I won't disappoint you. Kaldori, of course you won't. You seem like quite a wonder already. Alright, stay and fight alongside me. Don't get overconfident, though. This is your first battle, after yes, all. Of yes, of course. I'll do my best, Father. Great. Welcome to the team, Kaldori. I want you to sit with your dad and do absolutely nothing. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Let's beat up this dude now. Nice. Okay. Let's speed through this. I can't believe I've already spent an hour just talking about absolutely nothing. <laughs> Kill him, Jacob. Kill everyone, Jacob. I need you two to get married yesterday. Alright, so I can get Dwyer and so I can turn her into a maid. Actually, I don't have a Master Seal, so... <laughs> You're gonna have to wait some more, because I'm a freaking idiot <laughs> who doesn't know anything. Uh, look at that, Hiato got to level 2. Amazing. I can really feel the difference! <laughs> oh, that's why I keep Hiato around, it's because of that. <laughs> don't you mean you can feel a huge difference, Hiato? I can really feel the difference. Okay, yeah, Fimblevert, you're dead. Ah, frick. I'm sorry, but I'm in over my head here. I need to retreat. That's okay, you did absolutely nothing, and I hate you, but it's fine. Oh. Ah! <laughs> you got nothing! Oh my god, that's the worst freaking level up I've ever seen in my life! Jesus Christ, no, that won't do it all! Frig! Oh my god, okay. Oh, that was horrible. Uh, Rinka, go sit over there and cry. I'm here, I'm here too! Don't forget about me! <laughs> Please, don't. <laughs> Let's have fun! fun. Alright, Jacob, murder this man. Look at him, he really excels as a paladin, man. I do not regret this choice at all. It's, it's amazing. He is amazing. I want to solo run the game with him, but first I have to get all these disgusting children out of the way. <laughs> Wait, is there any point to bring- yeah, there's a point. Okay, go. I don't even have the freaking danger zone on. That's how little I care <laughs> about my units. Oh no, Rinka died! Ah, frig! <laughs> ba -na 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 -na. Bum, 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 bum. That person's dead. By your emblem. Soon I'll be worthy to serve the king. You already are worthy. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun. All I can think of when I hear the frickin' the main theme. We yes, we shall. Is the Sims 4 survival intro. You know. Yes. yes. Perfect. Perfect. Fire emblem. Except this is the Sims 4. Right. <laughs> ah, that's not too bad. This series exists just to spite myself. I hate the Sims 4. I know the whole freaking thing by heart, of course. I know all three songs by heart. All three fire- All three Sims 4 survival series main intro songs, themes, whatever. By heart, mainly because I had to sing them multiple times. Uh, because I wanted to get the audio correct on my mic. Oh, how lovely. Praise your token. Because I didn't care about my singing quality. That's why it sucks. <laughs> That's why- uh, the song- the singing is horrible, it's absolutely atrocious in all of the seasons. Alright, who should I fight? Oh, she doesn't like one of them. <laughs> Go for that guy. Together we ride? No, it's together we ride. 
Live to serve! Boo! Oh no, Orochi died! I don't care though. I hope they at least got B support, but I doubt it. I'm hoping Silas dies. Yay! He died! I don't have to listen to him anymore. If only this was classic. <laughs> Murder that man! Get a crit! Dawn. He didn't get a crit. He didn't need a crit, but, you know, I was hoping. It would have been cool if, you know, I said get a crit and he did get a crit. Oh no, Saizo! Hey, Jacob got to level 30! This will do. Yeah, well, it's not too bad. I think level 30 is your final uh, level for Paladin, right? I mean, for Great Knight, right? I, have I been calling you a Paladin this whole time? Well, you know what I meant. <laughs> 32 strength. Look at that. Look at that strength. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Not a single stat in there looks that bad, except for magic and, I mean, I guess resistance, but even resistance isn't too bad. That's beautiful. Look at that. So proud of Jacob. Look how this is going to do absolutely nothing to me. It's mainly because I have guard shields up, but even if I didn't have guard shields, man, he would have missed. And even if he hadn't missed, it would have done a crud. <laughs> Alright, murder that guy. Murder him good, Jacob! Get a Luna! Darn. Would've been cool, though. Would've been cool if he had gotten it. Hmm. Alright, Kagero? Kagero? Whatever your name is. Get out of here. Okay. You two go on in. Wreck shiz. And you leveled up! To level 10. Not bad. Not bad. One more person left on the field. You guys get. Oh, wait, there's three. <laughs> Only one more person left on the field. Frick. I did not want to stop there. I wanted to. Whatever. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna get him. I better sit in the sport just in case. Just in case. Alright, well, you're dead. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, someone ran over after someone. Somebody ran down here after these people. It's a paladin. Oh no! Oh no! Let's get him! We're pretty confident about this. Even though we're not gonna kill him. Unless we got a crit, but we didn't get a crit. Hey, but he's been poisoned. You don't need to do anything. I'm gonna go down here and murder this man. Dead. I got something. I don't know what I got because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Don't kill Jacob. I swear to God. You can't. You can't. You're gonna miss. Yeah, that's right. And now you're gonna die. Get him, Jacob! Murder him dead! Time to take out the trash. Uh, perfect time for a crit. Nice. Alright, huh? That was easy. Jacob and Sasuna were the heroes. That's kind of what I was hoping for, because I kind of wanted to get them freaking married. Almost perfect. Almost perfect, Kaldori. I observed your every move. How can you be this good? It was your very first battle. She did absolutely nothing. Absolutely not. Whatever. Thanks. Thanks, but you must have seen that I'm still falling short of your standard. Perfect as you are, that is. Oh, what's this? You've torn your clothing, father. I guess even paragons like you can have a bad day. I'll patch those right up. I'm sure I have a sewing needle among my other things. How prepared of you. Yes. yes, I try. Oh, I also did a quick assessment of the injuries done to the locals. After visiting each and every one, I know that they're all going to be just fine. There were locals around here? That is, if we can get them somewhere better for their recuperation. To that end, I've mobilized some of our troops to carry them out of here. I tried to think of what you'd do, basically. Did I catch everything? Yep, yep more or less. 
Well, well, I also sent a scout ahead to make sure the way is safe. It is. And I'm sure I wasn't as thorough as you, father, but I also... Also? <laughs> is she outdoing even me? Hey, father, hello! At this rate, Kaldori will soon be more perfect than I am! Father, sorry if I'm bothering you. I thought you didn't care about being perfect anymore, Sabaki. Didn't that happen with when you were talking to Sakura? The whole, their whole support conversation was about how you don't care about being perfect anymore. And now you, you've overwritten all of your character development and you started over from square one. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Father, sorry if I'm bothering you. Huh? Uh, no, of course not, dear. I must train, I must train harder. harder. I know, I know. Someday I'll be as brilliant in battle as you are, father. I swear I won't let you down. I know you won't, Kaldoria. Just don't put... Cal Cal what did I call you? <laughs> Whatever. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I better start pushing myself very, very, very hard. Or else my daughter's going to make me look like a day one novice. Boo-hoo, Sabaki. Cry me a freaking river. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some peaches. This fruit fell white into my hands. White into my hands. Yep, okay. Um, Might I ask what you'd enjoy doing with- You know what? These two are perfect for each other. I'll just team them up. <laughs> if I'm gonna get some kids supported, it'll be these two. One is literally a loaf of bread, and the other one's a perfect loaf of bread. <laughs> I'd like to train or find some ways to help out our team. There's always something to do. Wow. You guys are boring. <laughs> What's here? Well, Finding ore is no picnic. Okay, whatever you say, emo boy. I'm going back over here. I can never find accessories. That suit me. Take this. Huh? For me? I see. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, time to go out. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Did I get any support that I care about? I don't think I did. God, there is so much though. Wait, wait, wait! I think I did! Oh, I think I did! Okay, good. I'm happy now. I can die happy. I... Mm, should I do it? I guess I don't really have a reason to since I don't have... I don't have a master seal right now, right? Yeah, I have an offspring seal. Well, I should use that on Frick Pace, huh? Here, go ahead and use that. Become a Kinshi Knight and piss everyone off. <laughs> I don't want no stinking falcon knight. I'll just take an even worse class. <laughs> no, no. Become a falcon knight, please. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. We get it. You get a better horse. whoop de doo whoop de doo Kaldori. Hurrah! And now she can use a staff. Alright, well, I don't have a master seal, so I guess there's no point in doing that support right now, so I'm just gonna go to the next chapter then. Chapter 19, Rainbow Sage. With help from Leo, the group returns to Noder Sausage. They undergo several challenges to meet the Rainbow Guy, who has already- the reading Rainbow, who has already granted Xander's power, because he's kind of an a-hole. Like, why would you do that, man? Why would you freaking do that? Do you know how much pain you're gonna cause? Noder Sausage. Oh, wow. It's beautiful, just as I remembered it. And bam, we're here. Wow, we only took three other people? Okay. Or maybe only two people? I think there was a third one, though. I'm not sure. Ha 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 ha! Wow, Leo wasn't kidding. This is the only way to travel. Did everyone make it through? Yes. Yes, we're all here. All four of us. Plus the others who didn't get shown. I'm almost certain Norian forces haven't laid claim to this area yet. We should be safe before the time being. Ha <laughs> hoo they're probably still looking for us in the forest. That's true. Agreed. This could work out perfectly if we time everything just right. Let's Very go. well, let's get to it. Er, any idea how to actually find this reading rainbow person? I'm afraid not. I suppose the first thing we should do is find someone to interrogate. Well. That sounds... kinda mean. Or we could just try talking to people who <laughs> you Jeez, Ryoma, why can't you be like Jacob? Didn't when he when we came here, didn't he say like can't we go home? <laughs> Can we go home yet? <laughs> I don't wanna bother with these people. Let's go home. <laughs> like that older guy over there. He looks like he's been here a while. Excuse me, sir, do you have a moment? 
Yeah. Oh wow, it's the reading rainbow guy, but he's not gonna tell me that yet, I don't think. Hmm, are you lost? Are th is there a troop in town? Your costumes are splendid, just splendid! Um, um, actually, we're just travelers. We're looking for an old friend. Some people call him the Rainbow Bi Man. Have you heard of him? The Rainbow Sage is your friend? Hoo, 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 I'm an owl. So you're a traveling comedy team, is that it? What do you mean? Why do you find that funny? I suppose I misspoke earlier. We haven't met the Rainbow Sage yet, but we were hoping to find him. Jeez, I misspoke. <laughs> he is an old friend of ours. Oh, actually, we haven't even met him. <laughs> Do you have any idea how we might track him down? Hear me out. Let me spare you a great deal of pain. Give up now. Almost nobody has visited the Rainbow Sage and lived. I will not lose. I assure you that we are up to the task. There is a man from Nor, a prince named Xander, with golden hair. Golden hair? Oh, that's a pretty nice compliment you just gave him. <laughs> you could've just said he was blonde, but no, you had to say he had golden hair. Dang, I wish someone would say I've got golden hair. But no, it's not really that golden. It's more like a weird mix of yellow and brown. <laughs> It's what you would call very dull and sad, rusted gold. That, that's, that's the color of my hair. Rusted gold. <laughs> Is he one of those few who survived? Oh. oh yes, I remember him. You are quite knowledgeable. I believe he was the fourth person to meet the Rainbow Sage and survive. The first was Sumeragi, the former king of Hoshido. A young King Garen also made the pilgrimage. I hear the third individual was an unknown knight no one had ever heard before of before. Okay. Interesting. But yes, Xander was the fourth! Unbelievable. Be. We're following in the steps of King Sumeragi and King Garen, and also a random unnamed soldier. <laughs> Stranger, thank you for the warning, but we are undeterred. Can, uh, can you tell us how to find the Rainbow Sage? Well, if you insist. See that mountain over there? That's the throat of the world. It's a formidable peak. Pe it's a formidable peak, and at its summit you will find the Castle Greybeard, or whatever it's called, <laughs> the Sevenfold Sanctuary. Oh. I see, and that's where we can find the Rainbow Sage. Indeed. If the legend is to be believed, yes, he supposedly resides on the top floor. But let me just warn you one more time: most people never even make it to the summit alive. Oh. I oh, I I can't imagine what kind of challenges await in that place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've heard every kind of rumor you can imagine. Rooms full of poison snakes, trapped doors everywhere. I don't believe a word of it, but the only way to know for sure is to reach the top. Thank well, you. thank you, sir. We truly appreciate all the information you've given us. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Good luck to you. Oh, and try not to die. <laughs> yes. You heard him, everyone. I heartily second that advice. Now let's make our way to that mountain. <laughs> let's make our way to that mountain. <laughs> is everyone all right? So far, the climb is strenuous, but not overly dangerous. Hmm. You're right. Not bad. Not bad. You're right. So far, so good. Everyone has managed to keep pace. However, I believe we're approaching the building that old man warned us about. Uh. Yes, the seven bull things are very... How do you feel, Ryoma? Are we ready for this? Perhaps I should go ahead, the scout. We stand Nonsense. Together. We're sticking with you, no matter what awaits in there. All right. All right. All right, all right everyone. Let's go! Eek-go! Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right, we're as ready as we'll ever be. Who was I pairing up Rinka with? Oh yeah, hey Yako. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. I don't need you, and I don't need you. What I really need are more children. Oh yeah, Ryoma, I need you to have a child. Oh god, I forgot about Ryoma. <laughs> oh, dang it, I can't support you with Scarlet, you piece of junk. Why not? Why, Why have they done that to me? Ah, I should have married you to Felicia. But then Felicia wouldn't have been able to be a designer. Alright, fine. Who else can you be with? Uh, married, 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 married. Can you get with a Boro? You can have a Boro! Okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Let's make a Boro a princess. Alright, great. A Boro and the Rioma can get together. 
Yay! Is this working so far? Is this a good thing? Am I doing good? No. Probably not. Let's save a state. Alright, let's hurry this up, guys. I don't got much time today. I got a lot to freaking do. Uh, can you guys do anything? Wow, you guys suck. Alright, let's hurry this up. Get an Astra! Wow, you missed. You die. No! Woo! <laughs> oh, I love it when he gets an Astra. Okay. He leveled up. How nice. Murder that man. There's a deli bird wearing a little ribbon. Oh, frit. I did it. I did it. What are you, Dora the Explorer? Oh, I got a master seal. Now I can turn Setsuna into a maid. That's my dream. <laughs> I leveled up to level 10. Wow, that's amazing. I become even I must become even stronger. I freaking must. All right. Ugh. Can't you guys kill any faster? Hey, leveled up to level two. Not bad. Yay. Yay. I got a master seal. Oh, I'm sorry. A master seal isn't what I need. I need a freaking... Partner seal, that's what I need. I already I already used the master seal on me. You know, sometimes I have the IQ of like 7, and other times I have the IQ of like 7,000. It really just depends on the day. <laughs> the day, the time, the hour. <laughs> Alright, go on in. Ah, people. We'll teach them a lesson. I leveled up to level 3. From teaching them a lesson. It's about what I expected. Go in there, Ryoma. Frick shiz up. Oh, okay, so it's 40. Great Knight, it must be 40. Oh, that's great. Because he's still getting experience. The level, that is. Uh, his max level must be 40. Alright, you two, don't worry about them. Go to the convoy, get some chest keys. You know, have a good time. Have a grand old time. I got a hexing rod. Wow. Hey, Zama leveled up from hearing Kagero to level 11. Wow. Wow. <laughs> There's a chest here, but I sent the chest key I got to the convoy. Mm, that's a shame. Alright, you two go back. Oh, I forgot these two existed. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Well, after wasting like 10 turns, I finally caught up to these guys. You wanna want my chest key? Uh, Ryoma, you can take it. Wow, I got a Wayne Festival. Festival. Alright. Oh good, we've met up. Let's have fun! I got a Bloom Festival. Yay! Got a flame shuriken. Yay! Okay, this is just boring the heck out of me. And <laughs> this is just boring the heck out of me. God, Ryoma, just go. Just go and murder everyone. Please. It's a pain to care. It's a pain to care. Why do you only have 15 health? Why did that guy only have 15 health? What the heck? Did I miss something? Why did he only have 15 health? <laughs> what the heck? Alright, whatever. Can you get a crit? Warriors, you have done well to make it this far, but make no mistake, the challenge is far from over. Now show me what you can do. Okay, so... Jesus Christ, Ryan was going ham over there. <laughs> Oh my god! Jesus, Rioma! Magnificent. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. 
Dang. You have proven yourself worthy. Thanks, I guess. Anyway, I was gonna say they're all illusions. They're not real soldiers or something like that. <laughs> I'm ready to lead my kingdom. Oh, heck yeah, you are. Dang! Xander's gonna get murdered. Xander is not prepared. No, those guys are dead. Wow, I got something that I don't care about. <laughs> don't really care too much about it. Did I miss- did I miss him? Did I- what did I- what? Don't tell me I missed. I never miss. You're dead now. Bye -bye. We're gonna win- OH MY GOD THERE'S ANOTHER GIANT SPIEL in my Pokemon Go. <sighs> Alright everyone, this is at the moment of truth. Behind the door we'll find the meet their legendary rainbow. Stay reading over. rainbows. <laughs> Be careful, let's see. Don't let her down, just- Understood. You're right, let's just take this slowly. <laughs> Alright, oh, right. on one, two, three! Whoa. Yeah. Oh, hello. Whoa. You, what are we doing back here again? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is where I live. Sorry to disappoint you. Can't it can't be. be. You're the rainbow sausage? Why didn't you say so when we first met you? Indeed. Well, that wouldn't have been any fun, would it? Ha ha ha. This whole chapter wasn't very fun. Rainbow sage. The legend would take a bit of a hit if you could just meet me anywhere. Um. I suppose you're right. Well, now that we've made it, will you grant us the same power you granted the others? No. no. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. What do you mean, no? We've done everything you asked. Or is there some other challenge we have yet to face? Here no, there are. is nothing else. You're done. You've done it. You can hold your heads up high. Don't you see? You fall far so hard just to get here. The journey itself is what has strength strengthened you. Str the journey itself is what has strengthened you. Your minds and your bodies. If I were to ask you to climb another 5,000 vertical feet, I have no doubt you'd do it. That is the power that Sumeragi, Garen, Xander, and the other tap tapped into. Oh. Uh-huh. That's pretty lame. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> you foolish, don't you? Like you could do anything you set your mind to? Thank yes. You. Yes, I do! Because I have the mental capacity of a four-year-old! Thank you, Rainbow Sage! No. Don't thank me yet! Oh, there's one more thing I can do for you, Itsuki! Huh? Wait, how do you know my name? Did I not introduce myself? Did I not ever say his my name? <laughs> Just went up to a random guy and didn't even say hello, my name is Itsuki. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, oh, I know all about you! More than you know about yourself! Well, that's neither here nor there. Now show me the blessed Yato, if you will. Oh. Very well. Does this have to do with the seal of flames? Ah, oh, you have been paying attention. Good. Now I must speak with the one who wields the Fujin Yumi. Huh? Oh, what do you want from me? Also, I don't have any more because I'm a butler. Yes. Both of you, lift your weapons if you would. Okay, actually, neither of us use these weapons anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we both have shurikens. <laughs> now look at each other with calm minds and open hearts. Ew, but we hate each other. <laughs> I hate this man. This is the beginning. The seal of flames must be unlocked to initiate peace. Whoa. It'd be hilarious if this was using the models in this cutscene instead of the drawing. The sacred blade. So, you know, they would show that they're both lifting up a freaking shuriken instead of the actual weapon. It'd be, it'd be funny. I who committed the greatest sin. I who wove the divine colors. I call on you now, seal of flames. Wow. Oh. <gasps> Something's happening to the Yato. It's changing. The divine eye blade Yato is no more. You are now the proud owner of the noble Yato, its worthy successor. What the frick was the other one called? Like the the garbage Yato, <laughs> the, the dark Yato, the evil Yato, <laughs> the purple Yato, the shadow Yato. Was it the shadow Yato? Was it the 
the bad Yato, the evil Yato, the scumbag Yato. <laughs> then we get the noble Yato over here. All right. How did you do? That? How did you do? That? There's nothing compared to what you will feel later. <laughs> but that's all I can tell you for now. Now my sources are accurate. There's a very confused army looking for you. I believe now would be an opportune time to return to Noor. Oh, you're right. I had almost forgotten about that. Yeah. Understandable, given all you've been through. Under, however, it would behoove you to gather your wits quickly and move on. I am certain greater challenges lie ahead. Yeah, I hope so. Ooh, I got the noble Yato. Whoop de doop de. Thank you, Rainbow Sage. We are honored to have met you. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure to meet you as well. I'm just as pleased as punch that you didn't die on the way here. Listen. I vow to return here and visit you again once the war is over. Oh! What, should I not do that? No, pardon me. No, you'll be welcome to visit me anytime. Farewell, Itsuki. <laughs> Farewell, Rainbow Sage. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I hope he can live up to the destiny that's been laid before him. I'll be long dead before I find out, I suppose. But still, it would be nice for him. <laughs> and then he just kills over right there. <laughs> All right, well. That chapter was lame. Can I build things though? Oh, I can build an Azama statue? Wow. That's exactly what I freaking want. Oh, I should. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. I'll move it later. Ah, Rayoma statue. Maybe I won't move it. Right down there. Okay, what can I upgrade? What can I upgrade? I can upgrade. So many things. The lottery shop and the mess hall. Wow! Oh, there's a cub chew with a ribbon on its head, and he's sneezing. I don't really like cub chew that much. I'll be honest. I just don't. I don't like the booger hanging out of his nose, man. What can I say? It's a polar bear, right? And I love polar bears. Think they're really cool animals. I think it'd be a real cool Pokemon. But cub chew and its evolution bear tick are kind of gross. I'm just saying. Uh, Cub Chew has a snot coming out of its nose all the time. It's gross. And then Bear Tick has drool out of its mouth that's frozen into a beard. It's gross. Cub Chew and Bear Tick are gross. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Not my favorite bears. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of nostalgic for uh, Ursarang and Teddy Ursa. Now, what can I say? They're just better bears to me. I like the Grizzlies. Pancham and... Pangoro are pretty cool too, but nothing beats Ursurang and Teddy Ursa for me. And then I guess there's also Stuffle and Beware. <laughs> they're cool, I guess. Eh, I'm not too big of a fan. I don't think they're really bears, though. They're like more like red pandas and are red pandas bears? Alright, I don't need to upgrade anything else. Not at the moment anyway. Can I please, for the love of Christ, can I get a friendship or a partner seal? Partner seal? No? Not yet? Not yet. Fine, what do you want, Azama? Oh? oh. I got a fish. Yay. Okay, lottery shop time again. Welcome. Welcome. Feel like leaving your fate to the gods today? Give me my garbage. Too bad. You know what? I like quartz. Okay, well, support time, I suppose. It's Ski and Setsuna. Oh, we're friends now. Look, can you see how the leaves on this path are a different color? Oh, yes. They're really quite pretty when I look at them now. I want a closer look. No, don't do that! Weren't you listening earlier? That color change is a sign of a hidden hole. It's like we're in a cartoon. Oh... Did you say that? I did. Here, look at the base of that tree. Does it seem odd how those fruits are there? Oh, those look really, really fresh. Seeing those makes me kind of hungry. Satsuna, I told you not to touch stuff laid out like that. You'll be hanging upside down by your ankle if you do. Oh, sorry. I really don't understand. How can you be this inattentive all the time? You have got to be more aware of your surroundings. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry, it's just... This is so much fun. 
Most people just kind of give up on me after a bit because I don't really listen. But you're trying so hard and it just seems really amusing to me. Um, Lord Itsuki, your face is all red. Do you need to cool down? We can move over into this really shady area if it will help. Here, follow me. Satsuna, wait, that's... Exclamation mark times two. Where did this net come from? Oh no, is this another trap? Yes. It's a good thing you're here already, isn't it, Lord Iski? Could you help me again? It'd really make me happy. <laughs> I guess so. Just stay still for a moment. Thank you. Yay! And now with Caden, okay. Thanks for going shopping with me, Caden. I had a great time. No problem! Glad I was able to pay you back for that delicious candy. So you were able to find everything you needed? Yes, thank goodness. My go-to armor was starting to show its age. Thanks to you, I was able to find what I needed in a flash. The same exact armor. <laughs> you made the right call when you decided to take me along. After all, no one in the whole world has an eye for aesthetics quite like mine. Haha, <laughs> you're too much, Caden. Really, though, I was impressed by your attention to detail. I wish I had such a keen eye for quality craftsmanship. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome like that. It was so much fun, too. And meanwhile, Keaton has an eye for garbage. <laughs> you're funny when you're shopping and your face is like, Oh, and ah! Well, I'm glad to hear I amuse you. Today was a success for both of us. Sure was. So would you say my debt has been paid now? Oh, absolutely. Thanks again. Anytime. Man, it feels great to finally be appreciated. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to buy that thing before we left. What's that? Did you forget something? Huh? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. I was just thinking out loud. Um, okay, if you say so. Hey, do you think we can hang out again sometime soon? There's something I want to show you. Sure thing. Anytime. Yeah, <laughs> that's a promise. See you later at Ski La Dee Dee Da Da Da. That Caden. What a character. I wonder what he wants to show me. Yeah, I'm curious too. <laughs> what could it be? Is it garbage? Alright, Azama and Hannah, let's go! Woo! Hey, Azama, do you have a minute? What is it? Thinking of a training session? Good, it's been a while since I went hiking. Yes, but there's something else too. Oh, have I worn out my welcome on our little treks already? I've been on my best behavior, in case you couldn't tell. Actually, I was hoping that you could accompany me all the time. Yes, of course, that's the plan, isn't it? Wait, you mean all the time isn't all the time, not just when you're working out? That's, that's right, I want us to be together. Where is this coming from? Do you have some sort of head injury or something? <laughs> you realize you're talking to me, Azama, right? Hehe, <laughs> don't sell yourself short. I love that you're willing to come up here with me anytime I want. And I think your confidence is rubbing off on me. When I'm with you, I feel strong of heart and brave. So I just kind of started thinking, maybe it could be like that all the time. I see. Well, I have been thinking that it was a sign that we kept meeting here. I don't believe in many of the things that most monks do. But I do believe in some form of destiny. Perhaps this is it. So that means... Yes, let's be together. It's our fate. Yay! Now put on this suit of armor. What? Why? Because I want to go work out, silly! I can't have you getting crushed by a tree now that we're engaged. Oh my god. Yay! Now I can remember- remind myself who Azama's kid is. That should do the trick. Hey, Azama! What's with the silly straw hat of yours? You know it's not raining, right? I'm preparing for the inevitable downpour to come. The hat will keep my hair nice and dry. Downpour? But there's not a cloud in the sky- where did all this rain come from? It hasn't come down like this in ages! <laughs> I told you, don't worry. This is simply a passing shower. It'll stop soon. How could you possibly tell? The Great One told me what would come to pass. The Great One? Who's that? He's one of the gods. I've been doing a... a sectic training up in the mountains for years now. My years of meditation and practice have made me something of a master. Let's just say that all the training has given me certain abilities. That's amazing, Azama! I didn't even know people like you existed! Oh, and the rain finally stopped! So does that mean you can really hear his voice? 
Of course I can. He said that the rain would simply pass us by after a moment. No way! Well, listen, if you hear the voice again, be sure to tell me what he says, okay? Sure, if you insist. Awesome, I can't wait. Thanks, Azama. Oh, Caden, what a silly fool. How could he possibly believe all that nonsense? <laughs> Alrighty then. Kanoka and Azura. Azura, good, I found you. Are you alright? You seem a little out of breath. Yeah, well, I just ran the whole way here. I needed to apologize to you right away. Whatever for? Today I realized I have been so focused on this war and getting Itsuki back and marrying Itsuki and having children with Itsuki that I've been ignoring you! I feel terrible. And you ran the whole way here to tell me that? Did you apologize to the others? What? You mean Ryoma, Takumi, and Sakura? There was no need! Ryoma's pretty fixated on the war, too. And Takumi, well, he's oblivious. And also, I hate him. He's a jerk. <laughs> Sakura's so delicate, I check in on her every day. But you're strong, I thought. You thought I'd be fine? Of course I am. You know how I love my alone time, and you're kind of ruining my alone time. I'd like to get back to it. I'd like to get lost in thought all alone, singing my god dang one song that I... The only song that I sing. Please. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. I guess I forgot, somehow. Thanks, Azura. I feel a lot better now. Since you're here, there's something I've been meaning to give you. Years ago, I found this little Pegasus statue for your birthday. But you were so serious about your training, I thought you'd find it silly. I never gave it to you, but perhaps you'd like it now. Oh, wow! I love it! Thank you, Azura, even though I don't have a Pegasus anymore. You're welcome. I'm so pleased you like it. <laughs> okay, that was random. <laughs> Saizo and Gagero. Saizo, may we speak about the guard assignments? Of course. I also wanted to discuss them. We need to consider who is protecting the royal family. I will assume that honor. The quality of our security has been lacking in recent days. The new recruits are likely to blame. In that case, I should take over. A subordinate's failure reflects both on the soldier and his or her superior. You are referring to me. Saizo, you are far too direct and merciless in your training approach. Be prepared to sacrifice your life for your liege, is the first thing you say? That would scare any fresh recruit. I doubt any of them slept well. By the time they were assigned to guard duty, they were too sleep-deprived to work. Remember, when one waters the plants, one must be careful not to drown the roots. It didn't sound like he was watering them to begin with. It sounded more like he... he's poisoning them. <laughs> those, unable to, those unable to handle the stress of their duty have only themselves to blame. Besides, I believe their failings are a result of their in inexperience. The battle-hardened warrior is prepared to give everything. Never mind, this discussion is going nowhere. I will command the royal family's guard detail. Agreed? Very well. Okay. Boring, 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 boring. Jacob and Setsuna, please. Gotta drink some water. Some water. Okay, I just watched My Fair Lady the other day, and so that movie was filled with tons of British dialect. I should be able to do an accent by now. But I doubt it. <laughs> Setsuna, stop where, where you are. Jacob, what's the matter? Are you not looking where you're going? There's a huge hole right in front of you. Oh, you're right. I was daydreaming, and I didn't even notice it. I'll be honest, that would probably happen to me. <laughs> Just daydreaming and w walking right into a hole. <laughs> I have been known to walk into walls before. <laughs> But well, that was mainly because my eye was on something else. <laughs> That's why you're constantly falling for traps. You've got to be more careful. But I really enjoy daydreaming. I think of all kinds of neat things when I do it. Maybe, but you lose whatever sense of danger you have too. Ugh. I suppose I have no choice. I'll need to watch over you from now on. <laughs> what do you mean? It seems like you're constantly daydreaming yourself into trouble. I suppose so someone has to keep an eye on you. I suppose that someone can be me. I see. Thank you, Jacob. However, I can't watch over you every hour of every day if I'm just your comrade. Obviously, that would need to change. <laughs> this is a very strange way to ask someone to marry you. But okay, alright. How would it change, though? Well, it would probably be easiest if we were to get married. What? That way, it won't seem all that odd for me to be around you all the time. I suppose that makes sense, but is that a good enough reason to get married? 
I suppose it might not be. To be honest, though, it's not my only reason for suggesting it. It seems that I've fallen for you, Setsuna. You have? Indeed. I don't really know how it happened either. <laughs> I suppose it's a lot like you and the traps you fall into. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, freak, there's scary people at the door. Oh, I still have a hat on. <laughs> I put a hat on to go outside because I, uh, I hate my hair. <laughs> I'm a dirty grease ball, man. <laughs> Gotta cover that. <laughs> there's no logical reason for it, but... That could just be how love is. <laughs> Why are you so angry while you're saying this? <laughs> that could just be how love is! <laughs> Jacob... I'm sorry, I didn't even hear your answer before I started explaining myself. I like you too, Jacob. Well, like isn't a very strong word. Even if you, just like me, act without thinking sometimes. I think we should be together. Really, I'm so glad to hear that. Remember, though, you said you'd help me stay out of traps. That's going to be pretty hard to do. Leave it to me. Okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, Hayato and Rinka. Ah. Oh, there's the punk, and he's carrying around fried vegetables again. He can't possibly be throwing them away. Hey, Hayato! Rinka, how did you find me? This is ridiculous. Have you ever tried to get over your pickiness before? You might want to think about it. I wish that were possible. What is this, Frederick and Robin? <laughs> but I can't help it if some things taste terrible to me. You know, I'm all- If you know a way to change that, please, I'm all ears. You're the only one who knows about my secret, won't you help? Usually I try not to mingle with the rest of the folks in the army because they all suck and I hate them all. But I suppose I can make an exception for you, Hayato. So why do you dislike the vegetables so much? I told you, they're too bitter. I always end up gagging when I try to eat them. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I thought you were going to help. I can't help myself. You're just too funny. <laughs> well, why do you think I've been trying to hide my feelings? I hate being laughed at. If you really can't stand the taste, why not, obs why not try to obscure it? For example, have you tried holding your nose while eating it? No, why would I do that? You can't taste as well if you can't smell what you're eating. That's probably the first thing to try. What? Are you crazy? That would never work for me. Hey, Otto, grow up. Quit complaining and just eat the vegetables. Here. <laughs> gulp, gulp, gulp. No, he's probably gonna die. Jeez. She's just force-feeding him fried vegetables? So what do you think? Can you taste the bitterness? <laughs> Ugh, that didn't work at all. But you just swallowed them whole. You didn't tell me that I had to chew. Why wouldn't you? Fine, I'll try to think up something else. Wait, that's it. What is it, Rinka? I know just what I'll do. I'll figure out a way to use them in a recipe. A recipe? You're going to cook them? Weren't they already cooked? They're fried vegetables. What the heck? <laughs> Listen, just give me a day to gather supplies. I think I know just what to do. If you say so. Ryoma no Boro? Dum de dum dum. Hmm, is that Lord Ryoma? Oh, he's sleeping. Interesting. Look how freaking giant he is. <laughs> Look how freaking massive this guy's head portrait is compared to Boros. <laughs> what the? Is he asleep? Oh man, he's going to catch a cold sitting out here for so long. Hmm? Yikes! Oh, Oboro, why are you staring at me? Lord Ryoma, please forgive me. I didn't think you'd wake up so suddenly. My apologies. I heard a sound that woke me from my rest. You look tired, Lord Ryoma. I can see bags under your eyes. It matters little. Neither of us can afford to rest, can we? Besides, I've gone without sleep for three days before and felt no worse for wear. <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> Besides, I've gone for sleep without for, without th sleep. Who? <laughs> say a sentence. <laughs> yeah, that's a good example. I don't, I don't need to- I don't need to try and say what I was gonna say. <laughs> you haven't slept for three days? Lord Ryoma, you could die! Uh, the worst that could happen is you lose a few brain shells. <laughs> brain shells. Yeah, you, you lose- you lose some brain shells. <laughs> 
You think we have weak, do you? Yeah, sleep is for the weak. You tell her, Ryoma. <laughs> you think me that weak, do you? It's not about being weak. You can't do this. Going without rest can lead to serious sickness or injury. If you really care for the troops under your command, please think of your health. Hmm, perhaps you're right. Uh-oh, did I cross a line speaking to you that way? No, the fault is mine. Worry not. I'm deeply sorry, my lord. I'll do whatever you want to make up for it. Oh, why don't I prepare a, hurt, a, hel a healthy meal for my lord, Ryoma? Don't go to such trouble for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> oops. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Perhaps next time I should make it an order rather than the suggestion. Make what an order? What did she do? <laughs> I don't know. But then it might do me good to avail myself of Aurora's kindness. I guess she's gonna make him the meal anyway. Okay. Tsubaki and Keldor. Oh god, this is gonna be so annoying. Two of the same people to- same, the, the same person is gonna have a conversation with himself, pretty much. Hiya, ha, hiya, pshow, pshu, 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 blambo, meow, mksha. I have to say, I'm quite impressed, but what the frick is with all those noises you're making? <laughs> Father, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just observing. Your form is flawless, even when there's no one around. You could have stepped out of an arm scroll, I swear. Or even a painting. I can see it now. Your Naginata set to thwart beams of an evening sunlight. Stop, I get it. I have much to work on. There's no need to mock me like this. Yep, that's great. That's gonna be your new voice from now on. I'm not mocking you. I'm serious. Your skill is astounding. You're the o you're only saying that because I'm your daughter. Oh, so I'm just being a doting father, eh? Well, I guess it can't be helped with a daughter as perfect and adorable as you. Oh, knock it off. All right, all right, fine. Ha 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 ha. Well then, on with it. Don't stop training on my account. I can't wait to see more of that gorgeous Naginata work. It's a little hard to concentrate when you keep saying things like that. There it is again. You know, you keep saying that, but you never miss a step. You might be the most frightening warrior in the world, you know that. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. He's looking forward to seeing my skills. Ugh, I can't mess up now. Here we go. Hua, hua, ya, see ya. Take that, evil. <laughs> Take that, evil. And that, and that. Flawless. Heh, <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say I should be worried. So, so, so Alright, let's see what she says to her mother. Hmm, the advanced troops have just received fresh recruits, so they'll be needing tents and a larger shipment of grain. Have the quartermaster make the arrangements. At once, my lady. Would you like him to resume his duties managing the armory? No, I will continue to oversee it personally. On that note, please go to the smiths and requisition all the items on this list. Delivery is expected within the fortnight. Yes, milady, right away, milady. You certainly seem busy these days, Kaldori. Oh, mother, how can I help you? I'd heard the supply division was short of hands and thought I might be able to help, but it looks like you've got everything under control. Whoever appointed you really knew what they were doing. You flatter me, but I've got plenty of room for improvement yet. I'm still very new to this kind of work. Hee <laughs> hee, no need to be so modest. Now what can I help you with? Thank you, Mother. I appreciate your offer, truly, but I have nothing for you to do. You're just not as perfect as me or Dad. I've, all I've left is the inventory. Then I will help with that. With an army of this size, it must take a long time to count everything. Well, see about that. Here, let me see the list. We just need to make sure the numbers match, correct? Well, yes, but here, look at this. Hmm, this isn't an inventory. What is it? Some kind of diagram? Er, uh, something like that, yes. I drew it up for the armory a little while ago. It is if the supplies are stored according to the plan, they can be counted with ease. It takes a fraction of the time and 
Only one person. I'm sorry, Mother. I see. So, um, are you sure there's nothing else I could do? Well, I have prepared some tea over there for just such an occasion. Please help yourself. Am I being coddled by my own daughter? Truly, I am the most useless of humans. <laughs> oh, that's my new catchphrase. Um, I gotta put that on Twitter. <laughs> Is that thumbnail material? <laughs> What was that? Did you say something, Mother? No, dear. <laughs> ah, God! Okay, let's have Takumi talk to his son. No, Shigiri, are you painting again? Hello, Father. Yes, I'm sorry. I know this is no time for artwork. We are at war, after all. Son, don't worry about it. I did come here to criticize you. Honestly, it's a little sad. In another time or place, you might have become a world-famous artist. That's very kind of you to say. Where's your ambition? It's obvious these paintings deserve to be seen. There must be a way to show off your artwork. Father, what do you mean? Oh god, we've already, we've already read this garbage. We've already read this. We've already read it. We've already read it with his other dad in God Quest. Whoever his dad was, I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Arthur? Yeah, Arthur. Kiragi! Wow! What a great day for hunting! Hmm? <laughs> What's that noise? Russell, Russell. Dad! I'm so glad we bumped into each other. Did you come out here to hunt too? Well, something like that, I've been watching the deer over there, but for some reason I haven't been able to take it down. Probably because I suck. Hmm, that's a really tough shot. Hey, since we're both here now, I can help you try to hit it? Maybe you could give me some pointers about my technique. Sure, I don't see why not. Yippee! Okay, quickly now. Ready, aim, fire! <laughs> you, you. you took it down in one shot. It must have fired. I must have fired at least ten arrows and I didn't hit anything. Woohoo! Bingo! I'm so happy that I hit it! His hunting skills are phenomenal. At this rate, he'll surpass my pavilionies in no time. Hey, Dad, what do you think? Are my skills okay? Well, er... <clears throat> you hit your mark, but you're obviously quite inexperienced. You drew the bowstring half-heartedly and neglected your balance and stability and blah blah blah. Shooting like that's no good. Oh, I see. Karagi, did I say too much? I just wanted to help you with your form. I understand, you're right. My posture is terrible, just like you said. That's it. You're not going to object? Why should I? You're just be you're just being strict because you love me and want to help me improve, right? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm a freaking big jerk and I don't deserve a son as good as you are. <laughs> well, that's true, but it's odd seeing you nodding so obediently as something else on your mind. No, I just want to work even harder. Thanks for helping me improve, Dad. I'd better head down the mountain and do some serious practicing. Kiragi has certainly grown to be an obedient child, hasn't he? We're very different people. But I must admit, I envy his skill. Yeah, you're a piece of junk. I don't know how the heck you got, like, the best kid in the entire game, but... You're a piece of junk. <laughs> you're a, you don't deserve him. <laughs> Azura and Shigure. Let's start singing! Yeah! Ocean's great waves! Destined... Destined to see- Sure, yeah, you suck! I'm sorry, Mom, I'm going through puberty! <laughs> Destined to seek life beyond the shore! Just out of reach! <laughs> I love the outdoors, what a perfect day for hunting! The mountains are looking particularly appealing! But I did see a lot of game in that field the other day, too. So many choices! Stop, Stop right there, there criminal scum! Yikes! Hello, Mom. You've gotten much better at sneaking. Why, thank you. Why do you look sa scared? Probably because you look like you want to attack me. I mean, you're carrying that staff around. You look like you're going to hit me over the head with it. That's because you're out here and you shouldn't be, and you know it. What am I going to do with you? I'm sorry. I promise I'll do it when I get home tonight, okay? That sounds pretty familiar, Kiragi. Perhaps because you say it every time. Then you come home, eat, and sleep instead. But... I'm really awful at math, and I'm no good at history. Which is exactly the reason that you need to study and practice. I told you I would help you, didn't I? Can't I just not study and practice? I can survive being bad at math and history. Hey, in this day and age, yes, you certainly can. <laughs> All you need, Kiragi, are your skills. And you are an amazing archer, apparently, so you know you don't need to worry about math and history. I mean, I suppose you are a future king, I guess, technically, but I wouldn't worry that about that either. Ryoma isn't dead, so he's gonna have his son. His son will be the new king, and you don't, you don't have to worry about that garbage. 
you're perfectly fine being a capable warrior and nothing more. Kiragi, there is bad and then there is abysmal. You are past abysmal. Jesus Christ, Azura! <laughs> you, you can't say this to your child who was like seven! Jesus! What? What is this? You need to go to therapy, Azura. You need some help. <laughs> There is bad, and then there's abysmal. <laughs> you are past abysmal. Jesus! Good lord, Azura! Is... God, what the heck's wrong with you? This poor kid, he does not deserve his parents. Your father and I should have realized much sooner, and we're sorry for that. Yeah, we should have realized you were awful much sooner. Jesus! But now that you're with us again, we want to do everything we can to help you. Yeah, by calling you stupid, and also... Your dad doesn't even recognize your amazing skills. Instead, he's he's over there too busy being jealous to care. He's like, oh, well, uh, your form sucks. <laughs> even though he knows you're way better at archery than he could ever be. Whatever. Improving will only be good for you. Grumble, grumble. Let's go home. Study means less time for hunting, but it will help, I promise. No, this is awful. I only have hunting to look forward to, and you can't take it away. I'm not a child. Mother or not, you can't force me to do anything. Are you sure you're not a child? I mean, I doubt you are 18. <laughs> I I even doubt you're 14, man. Look at you. You got the baby face. I, I'm going hunting no matter what. Kiragi, get back here. Hmm, I think that could have gone better. Well, maybe if you didn't say he was abysmal at math, you know, maybe... Maybe it would have went better. <laughs> maybe if you had set a schedule for him... For hunt a time for hunting and a time for math, you know, that would have gone better. You can't just say no hunting, also you suck at math, but I'm gonna force you to do it anyway, <laughs> you piece of garbage. <laughs> like, what the heck, Azura? You, you're terrible at being a mother. God! <laughs> Alright, Hizami and Hinata, why not? <sighs> not bad, Hizami! Yeah! <laughs> not bad yourself, father. You know, it's been a few hours now, aren't you getting a little bit tired? Never. Ugh. Whoa, hey! Sorry, Hizamaru! Hiz- Hizamaru? Who's Hizamaru? What the frick? <laughs> I didn't mean to drop you. Wait, what? Father, what did you just say now when you dropped your sword? Oh, it was the name of his sword, okay. What? Nothing! I said nothing! Father, I know you're lying. <laughs> Okay, okay, I said Hizamaru. His- Hizamaru. Hizamaru. It's the name I gave my sword. But it's a secret, okay? Don't go telling everyone. You gave your sword a name. Hey, stop looking at me like that. Come on. Friggin' Itsuki's got the noble Yato. It's got a name. He's cool. Come on. Itsuki's lame as frick. Dots. Look, every swordsman loves his sword. You can't deny that. Even you talk to yours when you're alone, right? We all do it. Well, giving it a name is no different, okay? So cut it with the stink eye. What, I've never spoken to my sword. What? Stinky cheeses! Stinky cheeses. <laughs> and you call yourself a samurai? I believe the one who deserves that question is you. Who but a child talks to inanimate objects? Uh, Odin? <laughs> Odin Dark! All samurai do, you big weirdo! You must not love your sword enough. No wonder your form is so sloppy. M my form is fine, and you're the weirdo here. Hey, you can't talk to your father like that! What kind of name is Hisamaru, anyway? Do you really not hear how moronic that sounds? It's pretty close to your name. <laughs> what? Moronic? Huh, never mind, you wouldn't get it. I should hope not, or I would fear for my sanity. Uh-huh, looks like you've still got a lot to learn about being a swordsman. Anyway, let's take a break. I'm pooped. Hey, what? Hey, wait. And he's gone. Good grief. Ugh. Hey, hey, Hizami, got a moment? Uh, hello, Mother. What do you... Wait, is that... Why do you have that? Oh, this? It's yours, right? I found it when I was cleaning out my things. It's a diary, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> He's got a diary. <laughs> Why, did you read any of it? Nope, just thought it looked kind of like one. Didn't read or anything. Besides, it's got a little lock on it, see? Oh, thank the gods. I'd forgotten about that lock. May I have the book now, then? Uh, um, sure, hon. Excellent. Mother, you can, uh, you can let go now. Or something wrong? Well, I was thinking, maybe you could let me read it just a little bit. <laughs> no, there are some things that should remain private, even from one's family. Oh, I see. 
I suppose boys your age have lots of thoughts best kept from their mothers. It's only natural for a healthy young man, but to fill a whole book with them. Just what are you trying to imply? And in any case, this diary is from where I was much younger. To be honest, I don't even remember what I wrote. I just know it was private. Oh, that's all it was? Yes, so may I please have it back now? I don't got a choice, do I? Here you go. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. And there he goes. I know I shouldn't be mo nosing around his business, but I still want to know what he's got in that thing. Me too. Oh, and his Ami and Kana got some support somehow. Okay. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Can I watch you practice his Ami? His, uh, his Ami? His, uh, his uh, whatever your name is? <laughs> of course, Kana. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey ya! Hazami, sorry to be a pest. You're really good with a katana. I'm fair. I hope to get better. Well, let's have a sword fight. What? But I'm in the middle of practice, and you're not even a sword user. Oh, come on. Just for a little while. If you win, I'll leave you alone. Uh, all right. Just this once. Yay! All right, let me get ready. This shouldn't take long. W wait, Kana. What? Why? You were getting ready to turn to a dragon, weren't you? How else are we gonna play dragons and knights? You said a sword fight. You'll be fighting me with a sword. Just like in the storybook I saw yesterday. There was a picture of a dragon and a knight, but the knight was winning. Storybooks always show the knight beating the dragon. But I'm gonna win my battle with you. I said I'd do one quick sword fight with you, Kana. Not, not, not this dragon and knights game. We just be playing, Hizami. I won't really hurt you. I'm not playing this game, Kana. Hey, don't just walk away. <laughs> Kana wants to murder people. Jeez. Ah, God, so much support! Okay, fine. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Wanna go outside and play? Goodness, Selkie, you seem even more mud spattered than usual. Great, just like a dog. <laughs> yep, I was exploring in the forest, and I think I fell off a cliff or two. Hee <laughs> hee. God's above, do you need help? Oh, I'm fine. I just scraped my knees a little bit. Everything still works the way it's supposed to, see? Yes, I see. You can stop jumping up and down now. <laughs> you gave me a real scare, Selkie. Please try to rein yourself in a bit more. Now, as for uh, which doggo is better, uh, Veloria or Selkie, definitely Selkie. 100% Selkie. 1,000% Selkie. A million percent Selkie. <laughs> no offense to Veloria, but Selkie's definitely the better dog. As for Keaton and Caden, yeah, I, I also prefer Caden to Keaton. Sorry, Keaton. Caden's all right. I just like I like Caden more. I like the foxes more. The foxes are better. Did I read that? I hope I did. Grr, that's so fun. What am I supposed to do instead? Would you like to help me dust Lord Itsuki's chambers? <laughs> now there's a line that's definitely got to be Felicia specific. <laughs> That's... that's funny. I think it would go a long way toward teaching you a delicate touch. I don't know, sounds boring. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play dress up. We can put on makeup and everything. You actually want to experiment with fashion? Of course I'll teach you. Oh, how I've waited for this day. Yay, let's do it. Give me that lipstick. What? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, dear, but I'll need to prepare a few things first. I'll let you know when... I'll, no I'll let you know the instant I'm ready to help you with your makeup. All right, this is gonna be great. Okay, if you say so. Daddy, I got a question. What's up, Selkie? If your question is how to give your fur a lustrous glow, you're in the right place. Nah, what I want to know is, oh, what's the Kitsune Hamet? What is? What's the sick? What? Is, what's the Kitsune Hamlet like? Oh, that's right. You've never been to the mountains where we come from, huh? Nope. There's a bunch of Kitsune like us there, right? I've never seen one before, except me, and you. And me, right? Oh yeah, you too. I can't wait to meet the rest! They're a bunch of jokers, those guys. We used to run up and down the hills as foxes all day long, eating and carrying on. Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun! It sure was. Lots of good times there. It was a nice laid-back place. It was almost- I was almost tempted to stay on there as their leader. What? You were the Grand High Boss of all the Kitsune? Oh, did I forget to tell you? It's true, I was. Wow, Daddy, that's a big deal! Totally is, yeah. <laughs> Man, thinking about it makes me want to visit- uh, go back and visit that place. I want to go with you! Please, Daddy, will you bring me along? 
Sure, it's time I introduced you to the others anyway. It's, but it's, a, it's a long way from where we are now, but I'll take you someday. Yippee! I'm gonna race him! Every single kitsune in the Hamlet! You'd win too, I'd bet on it. Really? Ooh, this is so exciting! And... Selkie and Shurige? Yes, this is poor? Okay. Ah, uh, how I love the feel of the wind at this ad altitude. Those poor earthbound ones don't know what they're missing. Oh, I guess, yeah, I have a Pegasus. I forgot about that. Hey! Shurige! Down here! Hmm, is someone calling me? Down, girl. Ah, oh, hello, Selkie. Did you need a lift somewhere? How did you know? That's exactly what I wanted! Can I ride on your Pegasus? Of course. Where to? Oh, I don't want to go anywhere. Okay, hear me out. First, I want you to fly way up into the clouds. You're with me so far? I'm familiar with the principle. And then I want to jump off! What? No! The fall from that height would surely kill you! Ah, I knew you'd say that! There's a abominable snowman. Oh, yes, a snowver. It's a Pokemon. Sorry. <laughs> but don't worry, I got it all worked out. What, you got a parachute or something? See this cell cloth here? I'll hold it out as, a, as I fall on whoosh! I'll be a flying fox! Oh, like Link in Breath of the Wild. Okay. <laughs> She's been playing too much Zelda. <laughs> doesn't that sound... Doesn't that, uh, doesn't that sound fun? And you're sure you won't die. Relax! What could go wrong? No, you stupid children. Don't do it. Don't freaking do it. She'll die. <laughs> I wish I could share that confidence. But who am I to say no? Get on and I'll take you to new heights. He wants her to die. Okay. Yay! Thanks, Sheer Garage! All right, now. Is this height enough for you? This is perfect! Look out below! Whee! God, she actually jumped. Incredible. The cell cloth is working just as she said. Oof, that was a bit of a rough landing. But she seems cheerful enough. Ah, oh, Shigeru! 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 That was so fun! Let's do it again! Shigeru! You must go away, Shigeru! Wow! I'd be happy to. Hang on, I'll come down to get you. Well, that was fun. Alright, and Shigeru and Kiragi. Hmm, I wonder where Shigeru... Went. I doubt he's up here in the hills or fields, but I couldn't find him anywhere in camp. Have you checked the sky? You are the ocean's gray waves. Ah, Shigeru! He is out here after all. I wonder why he's sitting on that tree stump over there. And who are all those people he's with? Huh? Those aren't people at all! They're forest animals! Bears, rabbits, even wolves! And they're all sitting there so quietly. And this is the same support as Shigeru and... What's what was his brother in, in my conquest playthrough? Percy! I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> so sad. So sad. All right, but that's all the support for now, and that's gonna be it for this time, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.